How does YouTube monetization work? What's up guys, I'm Grant Thompson. And I'm Chris Crone. We're with Self Made and we're diving into all the details. Oh my goodness, so many questions and people want to know, they are asking, all right guys, you're putting out all of this effort and energy into these YouTube videos. If you've ever watched a Grant video, you're like, man, that looks like that must have taken hours. You'd be surprised at how much time some of these videos can take. What's the incentive? Like, why are we doing that? And so today we're going to talk about all the different ways that you can do monetization, but specifically in this video, how does YouTube pay you to advertise and do the different things that you do. That's right, I think it's no small secret that there are people out there making millions of dollars on YouTube. And to this day, I run into people that you know didn't even know that that was an option or they've heard about people making money on YouTube, but they don't quite understand how that works. How do you make money on YouTube? So that's what I wanna get specific with. Now, when you set up a YouTube channel, it's a free process. You can make a, a free channel and start uploading content. And up until recently, you could start monetizing your channel right away, which means Google, takes advertisers who come to them and want to place ads on their videos and they kind of section out which videos they're going to advertise on and what they'll do is they'll take care of the whole you know payment and collection of payment and then they'll split a percentage of that to the creator it's about 45 or about 55 percent that the creator can make and about 45 percent that youtube will keep now up until recently you could pretty much just dive right in and start making videos but now there's a filter in place where you almost have to prove yourself prove that you're in it for long-term success making good quality videos before you can apply for that monetization and as of today you need about a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of total watch time on your channel over the previous 12 months that will change that will fluctuate as YouTube makes updates, but as of today, that's what that is. Now, Grant, there's some people that could be confused, like, I need to watch 4,000 hours of YouTube. What does that specific requirement actually mean? So I'm just gonna make this really simple. If you made a 60 minute video and uploaded it to your channel and 4,000 people watched that 60 minute video, then you would meet your qualification. That would be 4,000 hours of watch time. So it's not that you have to watch so many hours of video yourself, and it's not that you have to produce so many hours of video. You just need to attract enough of an audience that the total watch time on your channel is equivalent to 4,000 hours perfect and 1,000 subscribers when you meet that qualification you're telling YouTube okay we've proven ourselves we're in it for the long term and we show that we have advertiser and family friendly content which is really what they're looking for I want to share with you I got a buddy of mine he he actually does these he's like one of those video game youtubers so he'll actually like post those and he had like 500 subscribers and YouTube came out with that and within a matter of two weeks he got 500 subscribers I'm like dude Ryan how'd you do it And he's like oh I just went out to all of my friends and family and hit up social media and said hey I I actually can't monetize anymore unless I'm actually at a thousand and it's not that hard. Listen, if, you, if you're tenacious, if you got a defined purpose, if you know this is where you're going to be, where you're going to play, where you're going to stay, you can totally do that. And the other thing to keep in mind is you're actually not really losing any money. If you do the math on it, you might be down $50 or something of that nature oh. to actually hit those numbers. So it's not really costing you anything. You would not be making money with those kind of numbers of watch time anyway. You know, there's other ways to monetize. We do have videos on how to monetize outside of AdSense. But if you're looking to make money with AdSense, let me tell you more uh, in depth how AdSense works. So imagine Google for a second. It's this huge advertising platform. Obviously you can advertise on Google and Google AdSense ads can be placed on websites and all over, but they also have a method where they can integrate into YouTube videos. So let's say Joe the plumber down the street wants to advertise. They come to Google and they say, can you put some of my ads on Chris's YouTube videos? Chris has a great channel about plumbing and he wants to get some exposure. Right so on. Google allocates those ads on Chris's channel and then as Joe the plumber makes payment for those ads, Google will split that with Chris. And right now I think the split's about 55% to Chris, 45% to YouTube. But how much money is actually being made? That's what I wanna know. I have to be upfront and honest that AdSense is some of the worst money that you can make on YouTube. You have to get a huge following and millions and millions of views for it to make any sense. If you get a thousand views on your channel, you might make somewhere between 80 cents to maybe $3 on the high end for a thousand people watching your video. Now I remember back in the days when I first started making my videos and I would spend 100 to 200 hours producing a video. I put up on YouTube and get about a thousand views. And when I looked at that in context, I was making $1 for 200 hours of my time. That's like a half a penny an hour. Yeah, that's a little bit less than minimum wage. <laughs> and at the time I was working as an airline pilot, yeah. giving up overtime hours with airline pay to make a $1 YouTube video. <laughs> right on, that makes sense. But, but I did know that it was real. AdSense gets paid to your bank account. About every 30 days, you'll get a drop into your bank account, automatic payments. So I saw the money was real. And in my mind, it just meant I had to get millions and millions of people to watch so that I could generate enough income to pay the bills and support my family. So. 
When you're watching YouTube, there are a couple ways that you can bypass the system. One is called YouTube Red. If you pay about $10 a month, I guess this is a little plug for YouTube Red, but $10 a month, you eliminate all advertisements on YouTube and you have access to their original content as well. So if you don't like watching advertisements, pay the $10 a month. If you added up all the time you spend watching ads and ask yourself, is your time worth $10, uh, it's wonderful. It gets rid of all advertisements and the money is still shared with all the creators that you've watched videos on. Now, if you're not willing to pay $10 a month, you do pay for it by watching the advertisements. So I'd highly encourage you not to get ad blockers or do something that limits a creator's ability to generate revenue because if they can't make money, they're gonna stop producing videos. So you're helping them by watching the advertisements. Let's talk about a few different types of the ads. There are pre-roll ads. These are ads that play before the video starts and often you'll see a little skip button that pops up after about five seconds yep. where you can skip the advertisement and get to the video. We also have longer ad formats at the beginning. You've got 15 second and sometimes 30 second non-skippable ads and those become more available for the YouTube channels that have proven themselves over time. Those are options that'll just become available uh, as, as you cer hit certain benchmarks. Well, and I want to ask you this question because as you're sharing this information, Grant, I mean, mm -hmm. you said it's some of the, you know, ad, the AdSense is some of the worst money that you can make yeah. in all the different ways that you can monetize YouTube. I know you're monetizing it in other ways and doing different things, but can you just for at least their sake help them understand that if they've got 9 million subscribers, what are some of the possibilities that AdSense can open up when you actually have a significant following? When you have a significant following, if you do choose to use like some of the longer forced ads, the 15 second or the 30 second, those are going to pay a little bit better. So you're going to make some of the best worst money that you can make on YouTube. <laughs> awesome. And like for your channel size, does that equate to like, like $20 a month now is what you're making on AdSense or it, you don't have to get too specific, but it's like, like a little bit of a ballpark range here. Yeah. Full disclosure. You know, if you, if you have a really healthy channel that's cranking out content and doing a great job bringing in views, you can make upwards of multiple six figures a month in just AdSense revenue alone. Are you ready to start making money on YouTube right now? Click the link in the description below. We also have more tips and tricks like this continuing in the next video. So we'll see you there.